There may come a time where you're going to need to remove your motor from your Dixonarco E-Series drink vending machine. Now this could be due to that the motor is dead, um, is burnt out, the armature seized up, or that you need to take the motor off in order to get your cradle out. Now the cradle is this metal piece that runs the entire depth of a narrow column, and these cradles wear out. Uh, you could have a can explode in there and it basically bends out, it expands the cradle some, so when it rotates it now is rubbing up against the left and right hand walls. Um, it could get wallowed out in its connection points. So that means it's got too much left and right play, allowing a double vent to happen. Um, so if you ever need to remove that cradle to replace it with a new one, you will need to remove the motor. So let me just show you real quick how to do go about doing this. Now, first thing first, we'll make sure we're playing safe. So unplug the machine from the wall to remove all power to the machine. We have 110 volts that comes into these two lines at the top of the motor. We don't want to prematurely have our hands over here and all of a sudden that power is kicked on and we're shocked ourselves. So be smart, remove the power from the wall. So the first thing is let's go ahead and remove these two plugs. So we've got two lines going into top of the electromagnetic part or the cam of the motor here. So we need to remove these two connections. So to do that, I like to take a needle nose pliers and I like to hold the pins, the bottom of the pins that these spades are sliding onto. A lot of times in the machine, there's a lot of uh, temperature cycling, so you may get corrosion built up on these plugs and it becomes very difficult for you to lift these off. So, so make sure that you don't rip the plugs off and break the wires is you take your needle nose pliers, come underneath, hold the bottom of the pin like so, and then lift the plug off. All right, so I'll do it on the bottom one here, the blue one. So I'm gonna hold it. So I'm just holding the bottom of it and lifting off. So that's a good safe way to make sure that you don't break these spades or pull these spades out of the plastic. Now once that's done, we need to remove the boot on the home switch. So we go ahead and grab this again. And these can become corroded and maybe difficult to pull off. So to do is just grab, the, I take my thumb and I like to push to the right here while I wiggle up and down. So I'm gonna do that. There we go. That comes off. So that's disconnected. So now the whole motor is disconnected. Now, there are two screws at the very top here, Phillips head screws. So we will need a Phillips head screwdriver to do this. And there's one screw at the bottom here that we're gonna to need to remove. So there's three screws we're gonna to need to remove to get this motor off. But before we take the motor off, I'm going to take note at which position my cradle is in. And we notice this cradle here is in a open state. So when I take the motor off, I'm gonna remember that the cradle's in that position. Now, if it was in a closed state or upside down, when I take the motor off, a lot of times it'll just swing back down due to gravity. And so if I was to put the motor back on, not in the same state the cradle was in originally, then I'll be basically 180 degrees out of sync and I'll be getting double vents all over the place no matter what I do to the timing, to the, uh, timing cam. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screws. So I'll start here with the top ones here. I'll put that down there, okay. Now I've got the motor, I'm holding the motor in place here. So if you take the motor, I'm just gonna pull it. And it just disconnects, so it's that simple. And this is the connection point. This is where the cradle mounts to the actual motor. So once we have the motor removed, we can see that you've got a big square opening here to be able to get your cradle through. So you're just going to rotate the cradle until it gets to the same shape as this, and then you're just gonna pull it straight out. So it's very much like taking round pegs through square holes. So I'm just gonna to grab the bottom of the cradle. I'm gonna turn it so it lines up. I'm gonna lift up. And the cradle will just slide right out. I'll move the camera back a little bit. And then out comes the cradle. So the part I was talking about, which gets wallowed out, and this is this part right here. Now this is where the motor marries up to the cradle. Now over time, the left, right, bottom, right corners get wallowed out, so the motor is able to to basically wiggle on this too much, or this gets too much play. And that is a time that you're gonna to need to replace that cradle. Now this is gonna start happening more and more often on Dixie Narco 501 needs because of the age of the machines and the basically how many products they vended, but over time these do wear out and you'll have to replace the cradle. Now to put the cradle back in, it's gonna do everything in reverse. Now we need to remember there is a hole in the very back, and you can see the light through it there. There's a hole in the very back of the uh, column that we need to put 
this portion of the cradle through, uh, this right here. So to do this, first we're gonna line it up to make sure we've got it, we can get the cradle started. Move the camera back again. And you just slide this in. Now what I do is I will reach underneath, I usually hold the cradle like this and I'll reach underneath to kind of balance the cradle and kind of just basically line it up to be able to find that hole in the back of the column. So let me go ahead and try to do that right now. There we go. And we know the cradle is in good shape. If I can take this and rotate it all the way around, and that cradle's nice is nice and e easy in there. So what that means is that I've got no hindrance of this. Now, little tip, I've cheated here a little bit. What I've done is I actually removed the shim that would have been mounted on the right hand side. That makes things a little bit easier. So if you can remove that shim uh, before you put the cradle back in and make your life just a little bit easier. And then you can t oh, turn this and drop the cradle or the shim back in before you mount the motor back up. Now here, when I, if you remember earlier, I checked to make sure what state my cradle is in, and it's in an open state, I call this the open state. And so I need to make sure that it stays in this state before I put on the motor, which it is. So very nice, this is very easy, so I can just take the motor, I'm gonna marry it up to the cradle, and I'm just gonna line it up, there we go. So now I'm lined up, and here we're just gonna put the screws back in. So you can kind of let the motor just rest like that. Find your screws and let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the upper right side here. So let me go ahead and lift this up. Get this started in the hole here. And I'm gonna lift up on the motor. There we go. All right. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect the boot to the home switch. Now don't forget, you've got a your uh, common pin, which is offset, is at the bottom. So don't forget to get that one plugged in because the wire is actually used in the machine. So I'm gonna get that set up in here, get that started, and there we go. And that's just slid on like that, real simple. Now here, we're just going to go ahead and attach that wire that gets pushed on, and then this one here gets pushed on, and that motor is now back, and that column can go back into operation. So I hope that's helped. This kind of gives you an idea if you ever need to remove the motor to replace one or to remove the motor in order to get the cradle out, that will get you started in the right direction. Now if you could, hope you could uh, like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Take care. What are these? Sticking square plugs. <laughs>I know it's thrilling to watch people screw things on on YouTube, but cradle in order to get the cradle out. In order to get the cradle out, cradles and motors.